And now it's time for Hungry 7 Episode 5. Now in the previous episode, Gradion used barely any Black Wings in his Black Wing deck, and all of Hungry exploded, and... What's that? Wrong timeline? Shit. Sorry, they both have the same name. Oh, it's the Heritage timeline? You get more confusing than the Zelda timeline. Oh, you have a new intro here, eh, Gary? Okay. I kind of like it, but at the same time, the cards are covering the characters. Eh, it's a nice little stylistic thing. Oh, and uh, for the record, it's like 11 at night here, so, or 23 o'clock, I think it would be. So, yeah, if I yawn a lot during this, it's because of the time. It has nothing to do with the quality of the video. Oh, that's a nice little thing there. I sure hope I'm not dead. He's not. Unless that gets retcon too. Yu-Gi-Oh! Hungry 7. Retcon. Ugh. Still a nice shot. So in today's episode's a little um, thumbnail thing. Oh, hello. The Lyraless guy is in the uh, cover, so odds are it's going to be focused on Shmirko for some reason. He's not even in this universe, he's the main character. How the fuck did that happen? There's some jank looking buildings. What's that? We took him to an actual hospital? Blasphemy. Look at all the birds flying around. Is this a common thing? Okay, odds are this is just some random fire that's happening, but pretty well done for making it look more realistic. Props, scary. Oh, this is bullshit. He's supposed to be covered in ropes already, he was. Sorry, everyone knows that's the best medicine. Help, I'm bleeding from the head. Just put some ropes on it. Oh, this is bullshit. The hospital isn't just obviously Gary's room. Zero to ten. Would not recommend. <laughs> I'm kidding, obviously. Gary, everything in our village is burning down. It means the people are made of stronger stuff than the buildings. Did you not hear about the explosion? I know a lot of things happen in, in a day, but for God's sake, there was an explosion. I doubt he'd kill him. He's the guy that changes his look every five minutes. That's the one. Nice. I'm sure he won't be relevant ever again. Surely won't change decks randomly. <laughs> yeah. You know, they never really settle the score. Unless there's something that's going to be fixed in Heritage. Mm. People, some people were like, well, why didn't Halberd can negate Quasar's summon? And my thing is just like, well, once Quasar was summoned, then everything went to hell. So, like, basically the negation missed timing. At least that's my headcan of how it works. That or Gradion forgot how the effect works, like how Gary forgets shooting stars effect. Quasar saved me, looks at arm. Then again, I'm not dead, so I guess I really shouldn't be complaining. 
ősi hiperlegendák tényekről valódi. Micsoda? Probably. But we don't know which one's which. Which card was holding information. And by you and if anyone's playing RPG, they know a myth is a fact. Why he looked at the white one and thought evil is beyond me. And then again, maybe he was just being fair, be like, oh, you know, I don't want to be racist. I don't know, maybe it, whatever. You can never be too sure with giant dragons of legendary status, you know? Fantastic. I see when there's a noticeable improvement over the original. It lasted longer than a minute. Then again, it's been so long, it, didn't, it would be weird the acting didn't improve. And now Corey's sister. Well, I'm sure we'll see much of in the series post-Heritage, of course. Unless she dies. Bella. Either that or all fucked. Do you even know what you're looking for? Do I did find this suspicious looking thing like a five headed dragon. I'm sure the hospital did him and me with all this stuff on. I'll just tell them I'm trying to protect him from COVID and it'll be great. Shut <laughs> up. From that angle, it looked like he was played by a different Hector. Like, uh, hey, Corey, I don't feel like being him in this scene. Can you do it? Sure. So he just stole Quasar that easily? Right now I'm imagining Malak Shanka just seeing this being like, Why didn't I fucking think of that? This is literally a case to be like that old cliche be like, Why didn't the fact I just steal it? Yoink! Well, then again, one could argue they didn't know where Gary's house was, most because it doesn't have a house. And yet, ooh, knocked your ass the fuck out. Thanks for the help. Now fuck off. Say hi to your mom for me. Is that still relevant? No, didn't think so. One punch. Aren't you gonna steal this without your uh, permission? I hope that's okay. She's gonna wake up. The fuck is my jester convict? Some random old abandoned building in the middle of nowhere. This thing needs to start shining like a motherfucker. Unless he purposely did that to attract Gary. Like a gnat to a fly. I lost every duel intentionally. No shit.
Does Gary still have the Nether Soul Dragon? I'm you. My name is Gary Feagan. Son of a bitch! It's me, Gary! It was me all along, Gary! Azt mondta, hogy elvileg itt van három hatalmas bestia, amelyeknek a segítségével létre lehet hozni egy Well, technically it's from... Technically, um... Gradian was from another timeline, the universe thing, I'm a fucker. Te vagy annak az új világnak az így. I don't freaking know that thing. That thing's a mess in its own right. Én miért nem tudok ezekről, hogyha én vagyok a konkrét tulajdon? Not only are there four dimensions, there's positive and negative versions of those dimensions, so there's twelve dimensions. Ah! And then I'm imagining like Ryder being like there, or whatever or what his real name was, I forget at the moment, just being like, Well, the fuck, dude, I thought we got along, okay? Particularly, you're an alter ego, so you're gonna kill yourself then. Well, that's actually a pretty decent motivation for e for uh, Yura. There is only one true Yura, and sure as shit ain't you. He says after he saved the day in his own dimension. Photons? No. Okay, so it's just okay then. Anyway, then. Sorry, you, you show me a car from another archetype and my brain just like, NANI! I still have that? Of course. If a combo works, you do it. Huh. Using the IP masquerade to post. I don't know if I said this before, but uh, Malak, Malak Shonka told me that it's the IP masquerade to post. Like, God fucking dare, Kiri. Also, I don't have, have the Susanoo. What I have instead is. is Mikazuchi and no penguin. <laughs> I don't know why that's still in there. Now I draw a fuck ton of cards. No. Well, I guess one could argue a hand trap is similar to a grave effect, but yeah. Oh boy. I'd say I'm surprisingly going to the pendulum, but at the same time, pendulums don't exist in this university, I don't think. If that's not till season, season two. Oh, hello. Time and Dire Wolf, we're allowed to call him an Xyz version of Exile Force. Diamond Dire Wolf, push the formula. 
Jacob, every time I heard that, uh, 5,600 life points left. Hmm. It's not a quick effect. <laughs> it's the Hungry Seven universe. Fuck your effects. Different universe. Different rules. Uh -huh. Remember, this is something even in Europe couldn't do in the original timeline. Oh shoot, it's Ghost Rare. That's how you know it's the. That means it gets double attack points. <laughs> no, I'm getting it. És segít áthárítani másokra, hogy számomra egy fokkal könnyebb legyen. A materasszú a szemem alatt lévő átok apró részecskéiből készült. És hogyha megtámadja, so that's why he has that I think. Azt a végtelen mennyiségű fájdalmat, amit én minden nap kénytelen vagyok érezni. De mégis, miért van ott a szemed alatt ez a fekete könyv? From my movie! Használom a materasszú képességét, levonok alól egy materiált. Oh shit, that's why it's called Black Tears? You know, I didn't get why it was called Black Tears until now. Not gonna lie. Oh, too late, you spent so long thinking about it, you should make a move, you took the damage. Look what you did to my leg! <laughs> Someone played Lincoln Park. Got 1400 light points left. He's got all this from the Black Tears, but we got no explanations to why Gary has a piano on his leg. Literally. Well, no, he didn't come out of nowhere, you see. He didn't get any Xyz monsters. Even though he had a synchro. I know, Raul, that was the called an ego of a writer, that's right. Sorry, I, I remember English names easier than, you know, ones of other languages. Even though writer isn't really English, it's an English word, you know. I can remember Gary easily because that's kind of an English name. Just place the E with an A instead and boom. Me? Good. 
Nekem se igazán vannak barátaim. Csatlakozhatnék hozzá, hát úgy jó elég próbat szintozni. Ha legalább vannak szintjeim. <laughs> Even deep down, Euro wants friends, and he knows that. Egyszerűen elvakította benned rejlő sötétség, és félsz kimondani az igazságot. You were spending so, spending so much time staring into the abyss, where the abyss stared back. You didn't look around the outskirts of the abyss with with friends you could have made. Well, that was a freaking mood swing. It makes me wonder to be like, is it that Raul can't make friends, or the fact that just what, how Yuri treat Yuri treated him? Because Yuri Raul tried to be nice to Yuri, and Yuri was a dick. That's not. So it could be the fact. So it could be that. It could be argued that we don't know at the moment, huh? But my theory is more the fact that is less that Raul can't make friends, and more that he doesn't want to make friends with Yura. Oh shit. Hyper Synchro Sorting is so powerful, it's just like, eh, ah, fuck these managers. Oh wait, maybe that's why he gets rolled. They don't do the managers, they don't do the job. Ropes are living strong enough. The Qua Quasar was magnetically forced to Gary's side. You can steal it for me, but I'm gonna take it back at the end of the day. If it's this big, how is the building still standing? Well, you didn't let it slip from your hands. You let it slip from your pockets. Ah oh, shit, dog! Don't go down that route. No, no, no. A dimenziónban, ahol már jöttem, volt egy nagyon beteg cég, akik világúra. Don't you do it? I'ma do it. Állítólag megpróbáltak átmenni egy nagyobb laborba, és a szállítás közben. Explosion that took out an entire dimension. A baleset helyszínén megtaláltam ezt a kártyát. So I decided, yoink. I'm not going to take it from you to make sure you don't use it. I'm going to let you do it. <laughs> Fuck you. I can't destroy a mountain. I can't destroy Hungary. So I'll destroy the whole damn world. Fuck! You know, Gary, what are you told? Fuck! Huh, Gary gave me a spoiler and I didn't even know. Well, that's the end of Yu Gi Oh! Hungry 7 permanently, everybody! I like how there wasn't even an end credits or anything like that. Just like, no, it's over. We're fucked. Go home, everybody. <laughs> oh, wait, you can't go home because your dimension's been blown the fudge up. <laughs> Ugh, jeez, we now got the next explosion destroying the entire dimension. Great. Just great. I don't remember, did the dimension explosion activate before then? I don't freaking remember in the original film. I don't think it was introduced to season two. Of course, I could just be misremembering. Mm. 
Oh boy, everything is fucked just because Gary summoned Quasar. Overreact much? I just summoned a dual monster. I mean, you have Crane. <laughs> I attack Amaterasu, Crane. Bitch. <laughs> I mean, Quasar would probably negate, but you know. Jeez, a lot happened in that episode. Gary got freaking hospitalized, got Quasar stolen. Got, got it back, and then the dimension blew up, and a lot of other stuff. Gary's. Corey got confirmation that Gary doesn't have the evil one. We learned about the Arc Hyper Legendaries. Again, a bit more detail. Uh, the sponsor got decked in the schnoz. <laughs> now, give me more cards. And, uh, geez, just a lot of things happened in this episode. So much. It's amazing how you can go through a series where a lot of things happen and nothing. What's funny is that Gary had told me it's a, he would be like, Oh no, Hungry's not playing up the next episode. The world is. I'm like, hey, yeah, that's real funny, Gary. Oh shit, it blew up. How do you how do you go from blowing up Hungry to blowing up a mountain and then going from blowing up Hungry to blowing up the world? You minimized one and then overdid another. I mean, I know that eventually the world got blew, blown the fudge up, but it's still like, what? Also, I like how just the creation of the card made a freaking lab blow up, and then when they actually use it, the freaking universe blows up. Like, huh? We just think the thing would be blown up the first time, but I mean, I know it's just the creation of the card, but it's like, what? Uh -huh. This explosion is weird. I like how it has a backstory of how it came to be, but it's like, eh? Yeah. At least they tried to do something with it, you know? Still was a good episode. I liked all the background history and all this other stuff. And, uh, yeah. I thoroughly enjoyed this episode. I'm glad I took it out. Now, I can't wait to see what happens next time. Now the world's been blown up. Plot twist. There is no next time because the world's been blown up. Oi, oi, oi. Actually, I think the Dimension Explosion might have been activated, but it was in, like in a flashback for Season 2. I don't I don't remember. A lot of shit happened in Season 2. Most of it was inconsequential, so it's like, where's Dan Destiny? <laughs> oh, God. I should be good at that. Next, next episode, Future Gary. Uh, I'm going to honor and do all this shit. I love how with all this alternate universe shit and alternate egos and all that other crap going around, we still had a future character. We're like, ah, oh, yeah. The series isn't confusing enough. Time travel, motherfuckers. We're gonna do Endgame before it was cool, even though Endgame was the first new time travel and all this other stuff. So I did like uh, how Yur actually has a more thought out backstory this time because you actually have a past to go with. And I like learning why Black Tears are called Black Tears because I'm dumb as fuck. I thought it would just be a generic edgy name, but nope, there's a reason for it, and I'm dumb as that much. Uh. Where's the freaking one? Where's the, what's the synchro gear? The one with Speed Roy? He's whatever his name. Where's his movie? What do you mean no one cares? Eh, that sounds about right, but who? What do you mean? <laughs> oi, oi. You can find out all this stuff goes down because it's the original. No, 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 the original, the reason that Gary survived was because of the positive, so they're probably been kept. So, yeah, I don't know. Oi. Well, I am questioning it'd be like, how did positive... Again, well, actually, that would make sense, because I think it'd be like, okay, so in the original timeline, Gary Positive had both Halberd Cannon and Quasar. So I'm thinking like, okay, we're magnetically attracted to Gary, but then you remember the thing about the Gary and the positive combination. So it's like, it might not be, it may not be magnetically charged to Gary, it's, it's charged to Gary Positive, which would make sense because fucking magnets. Or maybe Quasarella doesn't give a shit. I don't fucking know anymore. <laughs> How could things be simpler and I'm still confused? It means because I'm just trying to like connect it to the current to the original timeline, which means that I'm getting the stuff that makes perfect sense combined with the stuff that makes no fucking sense. Oh yeah, yeah. It's these sandwiches don't fit. I'm trying to put like a square piece in a circle hole. Or maybe a circle piece in a square hole, or however you wanna freaking do it. I'm not shapist. And it's a time like this where you realize it's almost midnight and I'm just kind of rambling. Like a madman. What the fuck is wrong with me? What the fuck was right with me is a better question. It also has much... It's also a much shorter list. But anyway, let's just summarize it like this. I enjoyed the episode and all this other background stuff that's going on and I love... And I enjoyed this episode. The only shame we think we lost was the... Fantastic. 
which isn't really a major loss, but something I liked personally. I don't know why. Maybe it's because it was English. Who knows? Yeah. Either way, I liked it. I'm glad I checked it out. Can't wait for the next episode. Until next time, see ya, Stalk.